Good afternoon. I pray all is well. Uh, my name is Lee May, and yes, I am the lead pastor of Transforming Faith Church here in DeKalb County, Georgia. Last week, I talked to you all uh, via Facebook Live. This week, I'm back at it. We will be doing this every Wednesday at 12 noon. So this is our second uh, go round at this. Uh, last week, I titled uh, uh, my talk, So Lee's Pastoring Now. Yeah, that still sounds funny when I hear Pastor Lee. Pastor and Lee in the same title is strange to me, um, but we are embracing it, we're running with it, and we are doing what the Lord has called for us to do. This week, uh, the title is Why Another Church? Why Another Church? Uh, we are in the state of Georgia. If you're watching this from outside of the state or around the country, in DeKalb County, in DeKalb County, there are a ton of churches. Georgia, we are in the heart of the Bible Belt. Uh, but you know what? Matthew 28 and 19 says, Go ye therefore uh, and make disciples uh, throughout all the nations and baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Uh, and it says us for us to do that, for us to go out and proclaim the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we believe that Christ is our uh, salvation, that it's only through Christ that we will have life and life more abundantly. We believe that uh, God has sent his son to save us of our sins, of course, but really to transform our lives. And that's what we're called to do as the church. You know, I've, I've read some statistics lately that have kind of put a heavy weight on my heart. Um, I read that, you know, uh, nearly 43 percent of Americans just don't go to church. They're either not believers or they're believers, but they just don't fool with the church. You know, if you look at the fact that America has nearly 326 million people and you do the calculations and say that nearly 43 percent of them don't go to church, that's over 100 plus million people uh, that there is a tremendous opportunity for us to speak to, to, to speak the word of, uh, of the Lord to, to embrace them, to come alongside them, to help transform their lives. You know, there was also another study uh, that was conducted uh, for people between the ages of 14 and 33. Those are people we call millennials. No, I'm not a millennial. I said that last week. I know I look like it. And again, I have this, this scruffy stuff on my face. I'm still sticking with the beer look, you all. We're going to see how this is going to play out. Uh, my wife still likes it, so I'm still rolling with it. But that study said that those between the ages of 14 and 33 just don't see the importance of church. Those same people in that same category have said that the church has not done anything of significance in their generation. You know, that's a, that's a troubling statement that anybody would say that about the church. Um, but regardless of that, we have a mandate. We have a mandate to proclaim the word of the Lord. We have a mandate to, to go ye therefore into all the nations and proclaim his holy word. Um, God tells us to uh, love God, love him, but then love our neighbors. So not only are we to profess God, to love God, to worship God, but then God says, let's go another step further and, 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 and love your neighbor. Whether your neighbor is somebody you like or not, go further and love your neighbor. And that's what we have to do as a church. And so, yes, there are thousands of churches uh, in our country. But here's another stat that I read, that nearly 3,500 churches close annually. 3,500 churches close annually. And yes, that's a challenge. That's a challenge because when every church closes, that's a, 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 a house of worship that is no longer available for people that are yearning to connect with the Lord. And so we believe that the gospel is called to, to connect us with God. 
you know, we believe that the gospel is available to transform our lives. And we believe that we're called as transformed people to go out and transform our world for Christ. And so that's what we're about is transformation, uh, uh, transformational people. Uh, that's what we're about uh, at TFC. Yes, TFC stands for Transforming Faith Church. And we are here to, one, transform our relationships with Christ. We're called, two, to transform our lives through Christ. And that's every aspect of our lives, from our marriages to our finances to our health to our wealth to all of our relational opportunities. We are called to help you transform your lives through Christ. And when your lives are transformed, we believe that you're also called, number three, to transform our community, transform our lives for Christ. That's why we're here. So why another church? Because we believe that through this opportunity, through this church vehicle, we can do some tremendous things for God. And it's not just about worshiping on Sundays or midweek services, if that's what you're doing. It's about connecting people to Christ. So, yes, we will offer a dynamic worship experience. Yes, we'll have uh, good singing, good preaching. We will preach hard. We will sing hard. We will love hard. Yes, we'll do that during that Sunday moment. But we will also uh, work hard to transform your lives through actual ministry because we believe that there is a difference between the worship experience and ministry itself. And we believe we're called to do both because we know that through that worship experience on Sundays or whatever days that you minister, that that is the most attractional opportunity to get people connected to Christ. They may be just coming to hear a good word or hear some good singing, uh, but once they come in, we want to now connect them. And that connection happens through ministry. And that ministry, you all, will help to transform our community. You know, one of the things I say, and my wife hates for me to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway, is that, uh, yeah, and I see you looking, baby, is that in our community, in an African-American community, um, some of the best facilities are the church facilities themselves. But unfortunately, in those same communities, uh, crime is a little bit too high. We have schools with some challenges there. Uh, we don't have the type of jobs available that we would want. And we, as Transforming Faith Church, want to make a difference in that. See, that's a part of transforming our community. See, if, if the private sector won't come into our communities and create jobs, why not we do it ourselves as the people of God? Why not we create our own jobs? Why don't we develop our own communities? Why don't we transform our schools, our kids, to make sure that they have phenomenal life outcomes? Why don't we do it ourselves? God has empowered us to do it. He's given us minds to think. He's given us uh, money to be able to act upon, and it's really about how you act with your money. He's given us, I believe, all the tools that are necessary to transform our communities for Christ. It's not just about making money, but it's about helping people, loving them. Remember, love God, love your neighbor. God also said, yeah, how can you love your neighbor? And when they're in need, you're not helping to feed them or to clothe them or to give them housing. Uh, that's what we're about as Transforming Faith Church. So, yes, why another church? Well, be, we believe there's still a lot of work left to do. The fact that nearly 43% of Americans are just not in church says to me that there is a tremendous opportunity and we're just excited about being able to come alongside the many churches that are doing dynamic things for God. We believe that there's space for us. We'll do it uh, holding hands with our uh, other churches in the communities that have been doing so many fun wonderful things that we stand upon their shoulders to help uh, do the Lord's work in our communities. So we're excited to do that, and, and we're starting now uh, in June. June the 11th, 2017, we will have our first worship preview service, you all. We're excited about that at 9 a.m. Where will it be? 
It will be at Southwest DeKalb High School, 2863 Kelly Chapel Road in Decatur, where it's greater. Yes, I am DeKalb's. I've been here for 20 plus years. Uh, and we are here uh, to worship with the community. What is a preview service? It's simply giving you a preview of our worship experience. It's giving you an opportunity to worship with us, for us to connect with you, and to give you a little bit of a flavor uh, of how we will be worshiping. Remember I said there's a difference between the worship experience and actually ministry itself. Uh, we will be continuing to build upon ministry so that when we launch uh, weekly services in the month of September, we will have a fully functional uh, church. Uh, but in June, it's just a preview service. Again, June the 11th, 2017, 9 a.m. Uh, at Southwest DeKalb High School, 2863 Kelly Chapel Road, Decatur, Georgia, 30034. Uh, you can always find out more information about us at our website, www.transformingfaithchurch.com, www.transformingfaithchurch.com. Y'all, we also have an app. Uh, go to your app store and put in Transforming Faith Church. Our app will come up. You can follow us that way as well. There's some of you that say, hey, Lee, I want to help you. Uh, and Robin, my beautiful wife, Robin, we talk, I talked about her last week. She's the love of my life. But you may say, I want to come alongside you and Robin to help launch this church because you all, in reality, there are thousands of things we have to do to get prepared for the launching of our uh, church and church services. Uh, we would love to have you come, apart, come alongside us. You can email us at tfcdecab at gmail.com that's tfc decab at gmail.com if you're interested in helping us out just say hey lee i want to be a part of the launch team it's no, nothing complex it's not any kind of rocket science we're not a special or private club uh, we would love to have you be a part uh, of that with us and uh, and we'll just share more information with you as well but you all we are here. We are excited about launching this church service. We are here to partner with you. We are here to transform our world for Christ. That's what it's all about. It's not about people. It's not about uh, personalities. It's about Christ, you all. And when we proclaim Christ, we know that lives will be changed. We know that people's salvation will be determined, but we also know that while they are here on earth, their lives will be completely turned around and they can go from where they are to where we know that God has called for them to be, you all. So I'm excited. This is new. This is fresh for me. Y'all, if you followed me in my life and Robin and I, you know, we have done some things that, you know, we're pretty proud of, you know, from owning a business, a, a movie theater, you know, one of three African-American owned movie theaters in the country, the youngest movie theater owner in the, in the country, uh, to running for office, being the youngest elected commissioner uh, in the state, in, in DeKalb County, not in the state, uh, to being the interim CEO for three years, appointed by the governor, and having to go through all of that, and Robin being on the radio, being on Praise 102.5 with Katie Bow weekly giving wonderful knowledge and information uh, from us doing these things publicly y'all this is one of the scariest things we have ever done uh, but it's also one of the most exciting and we just can't wait uh, until the day comes for us to uh, be able to to launch publicly you know um, but we're just excited about this opportunity uh, we love you we love you to life if there's anything you need from us, again, use that email as well, tfcdecab at gmail.com. Uh, check us out on our website, www.transformingfaithchurch.com. Check out our app. Uh, go to your app store and just type in Transforming Faith Church. You can get all of the information that you need from us uh, through those different components. But we would love to see you again on June 11th, 2017, on the campus of Southwest DeKalb High School uh, in their Performing Arts Auditorium. Again, their address is 2863 
Kelly Chapel Road, Decatur, Georgia, 30034. We're excited to bring this brand new church opportunity to you. We're excited to do the work of the Lord, and we just can't wait for that day to come. Thank you, and until next time, uh, I love you. I love you to life, and I will see you next Wednesday at 12 noon. And you all who are traveling uh, for this holiday, our prayers are here for you. Be safe. Be careful. Don't do anything foolish, and we'll see you next time. God bless you. We love you to life.